I don't know the word green. How close is science fiction to becoming science yeah, fact? Okay, it's yeah, the green tall hard rectangular block. I knew that, just checking. After Let's nearly two decades of experimentation, the promise of voice Move recognition technology is at hand. The first application may soon be no farther away than the nearest telephone, a triumph for members of the Bell Labs team, like Jay Wilpon. What am I going to say to my kids when they say, what have you done with your life? I hope to be able to say to them that I participated in the biggest revolution of the 20th century other than the personal computer. Move the insulator behind the block. It's really hard to put into words. To be involved in something which didn't exist 15 years ago, no one thought that it could be done. And to get to the point where we are today, where mass deployment of speech recognition is, is this far away, it's, it's just incredible. It's, it, you know, it's like nirvana. This is AT&T. Please say, collect, calling card, third number, person to person. Third number. Operator. Thank you for placing a third number call. August 1991, an early field test in Texas, and AT&T's first application is being demonstrated. It's known as VRCP, or Voice Recognition Call Processing. At the tone, please say your name. Pam. Thank you. Please hold for billing acceptance. The aim is to automate many operator-handled calls. During these calls, however, customers can still reach an operator at any time. With all the technological sophistication of this computer, still, it's hard to imagine that a machine could ever match the complexity, the caring, the human touch of this. Well, after all this time, you, you begin to tell, by the way, that somebody sounds, you like you can imagine just how they look or just by their voice tone or their, their angry if they're happy if they're sad you can kind of get little visual images of even how a person even looks and just how important the call is and how important the call is to them this is at and please say collect calling card third number person to person or operator now it's at and operator how can i help you yeah hey, operator what was that i heard i i heard something that sounded like a, a robot or something like that Yes, sir. It's just a, a machine that's... Whenever AT&T has introduced you, a new and unfamiliar technology, okay, um, there's I'm been understandable call. concern throughout the Thank company. But so on the front name? lines of almost every change have been the operators. My first thought was, uh-oh, here comes trouble. This is going to get my job for sure. I talked to some friends of mine back where I came from, from Shreveport in the office, and the rumors were running rampant over there, you know, like, oh my gosh, they're testing this machine and it's going to do away with our job, and they're shutting, you know, we heard y'all, they were shutting down y'all's office and going completely to machines. The first thing I thought about is that this is going to be a robot, they're not going to need as many operators, I'm about to lose my job. That was my first impression. It was like um, one of my worst nightmares. <laughs> 